again with another hopefully classic song that you'll enjoy to play and a song called uh, Everybody Wants to Rule the World classic song for Tears for Fears okay right standard tuning no capos uh, doing it the same key as the original track from Tears for Fears okay so it starts off with this classic little jingle jangle okay so uh, what I do is I slide from the second on the second string the B string I slide from three fret three to fret seven Okay, and then we go into this sort of little repetitive little riff. Okay, what I'm doing there is I'm just basically putting my first finger on the fifth fret of the top E string and that slidey finger up, third finger up to the seventh fret of the second string. And what you do is So I'm starting on the uh, fifth, uh, the fifth fret, of the top E string there, to the seventh fret, of the second, back to the first string, right, right, right. So ding dong ding dong, and then putting my pinky on that seventh fret of the top E string, just for the single note, okay. And then you hit that seventh on the second again. So, what is it? Right, so you slide up from three to seven on the second string, and then you go into this little first string, second string, first string, second string, seventh fret of the top E string, then seventh fret of the second string, and then repeat. First string, second string, first string, second string, top E string, seventh fret, seventh fret the second string, then repeat as many times as you want. Okay, so let's do it very, very slowly. Okay, that's the basics of it, I believe. So if you speed that up gradually, you'll get... Okay, so... Right. Right, so... so. That's just 
soon as you slid up to there, you're into this. Okay. Okay, as long as you like, okay. It goes on for quite a while, and then we go into the chords bit. And I'm playing here is a, is an A chord with a D in the bass. So it's like an A chord with an open fourth string. So if you imagine an A chord without the, the, uh, sec the second fret of the fourth string being played, open fourth string, five down to one. Okay, so it's A with D in the bass, basically. Okay, so let's just do that. So I think it's. Uh, So it goes that chord, and it goes I'm, the way I do it. I just play a straightforward G chord, okay. And then what I like to do is, if you listen to the record, you can hear that note being played quite a lot. So what I do is I tend to hit the middle strings of the G chord, emphasising that fourth string open, okay. So now I've got this. Just, just repeats that four times and then on the fifth time he starts singing I believe so it goes one two three four and this time we can start singing welcome to your just keep playing those two chords, there's a turning Even when we're sad We will find you Now, E minor Acting on your F sharp minor, second fret bar chord Best behaviour G, either a bar chord or a straightforward G, whichever you want to do long as it's a G chord, okay, E minor, so from the beginning of this, acting on your F sharp minor, S, B, G, it's G, do, do, back to F sharp minor, do, do, do. E minor, back to F sharp minor, G, A, chords. same chords again. I say so you've got that so far right so when you've gone through so let's just go through this chorus but again so coming out of uh, um, so E minor sing and if you like you uh, do the when you hit the E minor and each chord change you like you can do a an accentuated uh, strum if you like just to emphasize it so acting on your best behavior turn your back on Right, two of these. Right, third one sing comes in again. It's my own desire. It's my own remorse. Help me to decide. Help me, of course, me. into the bridge section G however you wish to play it bar chord four finger G single three finger G whichever okay G there's a room where the D light won't A find you G holding hands while the D walls come tumbling A down G when they do I'll be D right A behind you chorusy bit so glad E minor, a sharp minor, almost made it. G, 
so glad F sharp minor activated last line everybody wants to and it goes into that riff again the intro riff the uh, chingy jangly bit okay so that's that last line is the usual one E minor uh, everybody F sharp minor G A just the intro again Okay. And then obviously there is a solo, which uh, if you want to play, I mean you could just bypass that and go straight into the end of the song and um, um, just, just do the end of the song if you wanted to do, uh, because I can't stand this indecision, married with a lack of vision, it's just the same as what you already played, okay? <clears throat> but if you wanted to play this solo, or back into the solo, after you've done the jingle jangle after the second verse, second chorus, etc. It goes into B minor to C C C B minor and then it goes and it goes back into the two chords again. for those now it goes in I can't stand this indecision I can't stand this indecision married with a lack of vision everybody So on, you get the idea, don't you? So the solo, after it's done the jingle jangle bit after the second chorus. Does so that three times, D minor to C. Then does that three times. Four times, sorry, that four times. The normal chords four times, and it goes into the chorus. Okay, so there you have it. That's as, uh, that's all the way. That's all there is I can show you about it. It just repeats more of the same after that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. So uh, as you can tell and so on you get the idea don't you practice makes perfect as they say and I need more of it. 
<laughs> thanks for watching and listening and I'll see you in the next video bye